What is up, then, people? It is your boy Jack, and we're back with another video. I'm gonna try to stick to this one video a week, just for the time being. Man's busy, you know. But if you clicked on this video, you are here for one reason and one reason only. You want to get rid of some of that fat off your body, and I'm gonna tell you today all that it really takes because it's not complicated but some people just don't know where to begin so before we really get into it i'm about to make meal one and that's why i'm starting this video now because i'm actually going to show you everything that i eat today every single little thing and it's going to be tracked and accounted for then you can see what i've had at the end of the day so let's get to that so down to coach's orders i personally am having an extra few carbs on training days now and my calories have gone up ever so slightly so i get my first meal in a little bit earlier it is currently half 11 and i am training at three o'clock so first meal in three and a half hours before the gym and then i'm going to get something extra in an hour and a half to two hours before the gym if you watched my last video you know exactly what i'm about to make it's my chicken rice and tikka it is the handiest thing in the world it's an amazing meal and it's so quick so just in case you didn't see the last video here's all you got to do step one get yourself a nice little bowl step two you get your chicken breast you get your scales, you are going to see this a lot today. So you get your scales, you turn it on, you place said chicken breast and you have 130 grams of chicken. So you track that you ate 130 grams of chicken. Now I'm just going to get the chicken into the bowl. I'm going to rip it up all nicely into nice bite sized chunks. You go ahead and get your rice. Now again, it depends how much rice you want. You know what I mean? So me, I'm only having half a bag of rice. So what I'm going to do is put the bowl on the scales, open up the bag and pour out Four hundred and twenty-five grams, which is half a bag. And the final most important step, pick a sauce, any sauce you like. For me, I just love tikka, so I'm gonna have a quarter jar of this, which is like 96 calories, I believe. So again, you have to weigh that shit, man. You have to make sure it's perfect. There we go, baby. Now, you got a bowl of chicken, rice, and sauce. Stir that bitch up. I'm gonna put it in the microwave. I'll bring you back when I'm upstairs enjoying this delicious meal. Okay, so I'm upstairs with this and I wanna eat this now because I'm hungry. So I'm gonna make this quick. There were two important points in that meal I didn't show you for the crack. One is the kitchen scales. If you're not using the kitchen scales, you're just bullshitting yourself. You know what I mean? It's all guesswork. It's all done by eye. There's no accountability. There's no tracking. It's useless. You need that kitchen scales. They cost like a tenner and they take no time to use once you get into the habit of them. Two is, what's the word? Convenient. Convenience. That meal there takes no time at all to make. I don't have to go downstairs and spend 20, 25 minutes cooking up chicken, cooking up rice, putting it all together. Don't have to clean up heaps of stuff after it. The convenience factor honestly is massive and is often overlooked by people. If something takes ages to do and you are hungry, you are going to eat a worse option. It's that simple. So having the foods ready and readily available to you is really, really important in my opinion. The same way I have kilos and kilos of egg whites down here, protein powder. I have a whole thing of protein snacks still. Like I'll show you, you guys probably want to see this. I have a whole drawer of protein snacks to keep me away from when I want to have some real bad shit. You know what I mean? So have things readily available to you that are going to help you on your goals. And lastly, and one that's somewhat debatable, the taste of your food. Like, your food, the majority of the time, should taste good. That's why I have the tikka sauce in there. Yes, it's nearly 100 calories that I spent just on sauce. But at the end of the day, that's still food. It's still carbs and fats. It's still going to give me energy when I go to the gym. And it makes that meal taste so, so, so much better. Now, there are times where you just have to suffer through and have some shit food. Like, there's times where I have very few calories left. So it's just essentially plain egg whites and chicken. And that's never exciting. That's gotta be done sometimes, but most of the time, as often as you can, taste is important when eating to adhere to your goals in order to achieve fat loss. So something really, really exciting to me is about to happen. I'm about to make oats, which I have not had in over four weeks, and I love them, and I'm so excited. This just happened because coach has put calories up a little bit. Carbs have gone up, and calories as a whole, in turn, have gone up. So I have room to play around with things like this a little bit more. So let me just show you what we're gonna have. So our carbs of choice are gonna be these oats right here, just standard oats, golden syrup flavor. I'm gonna have two shasts, two sachets with skim milk, and I'm gonna get one of these melty protein bars on top, all melted, beautiful peanut butter flavor. If you want those bars, if you didn't see the last video, I'm gonna have a link below two proses to that exact product. 
They are amazing. I love these protein bars so much. You will just see how good they look out of the microwave. There's no guesswork here. I'm gonna know exactly what I am putting into my body. Obviously the oats, easy to track. And I'm still gonna measure out my milk using the scales. So this is a common theme. Literally everything is accounted for to the gram. Like there's no bullshit. If I use this one cal spray, I count how many fucking sprays I use and I track it. Everything is tracked, you know what I mean? If you use sauce, track that shit. Ketchup, sweet chili, whatever it is, it all has calories. Track everything. Actually have no skim milk, so I'm gonna have to use normal. I might do like half this, half water, just so that the calories don't go up too high, but we'll see as we go along. We'll see how much milk I need, and then I'll make the decision. So I used 150 ml of that, which is just over 100 calories. If it needs more, I'll just take it out and add some water in between, because I don't want too many calories coming from milk. You know what I mean? It's all good calories and all, but I like eating my food. Some protein bar is in there. One more minute. I'm so excited. This is our finished product. Like, oh my days. Just look at that shit, man. This is gonna be such a nice experience. Just keep in mind, I haven't had oats in over four weeks. There is a bite for me right now. Nice, no, something special, man, the oats. The peanut buttery protein bar. Oh my God, I'm so happy. And the gym's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna have more food in me. I am buzzing. I'm gonna eat this now. Man, they say fat loss is hard. This shit is, is too easy. Right, so now we're getting ready to go to the gym. The best bit of the fucking day. What I'm gonna eat in work, because I won't be able to show you, is literally in there I have two and a half scoops of protein. Again, anything I show, I'll have a link to in the description. This is what I'm using right now. It is the sexiest protein. I've said it many times. It's amazing. From pros is, of course. So two and a half scoops of that and a zero cookie. Just because it's quick, I don't really get to sit down for proper meals in work. So this will be taken post-workout at about five o'clock. This will be had about seven o'clock. And then we'll see where we're at when I get home tonight, what food I'm gonna eat. And yeah, I'll let you know if anything changes. Very rarely it does. But yeah, that's the plan. I'm feeling fantastic, man. That bowl of oats was amazing. And I'm really excited to see if it actually makes a difference in my sessions because obviously my calories have gone up. So sessions should only feel better. You know what I mean? I should have more energy. Hopefully I have a lot more carbs in me than usual. So I'm excited, but yeah, that's it so far. Fat loss. It's easy, man. It's an easy game. Don't you ever forget it. But yeah, I'm off. I will pick you back up tonight, let you know whatever we're eating. Let's get it. Okay, people, we are home. I have lots of calories left and I need to eat them. So we are gonna go make a nice, nice last meal of the day. I'm actually gonna have some rice, some nachos, chicken, and cheese, and sweet chili. And it is gonna be absolutely beautiful and it's gonna finish our calories off perfectly for the day. So. Let's go ahead and make this. And this right here is the finished product. Nachos, rice, chicken, sweet chili, and cheese. This is why I like saving some calories for the evening because why the fuck would you need to go off track and cheat and overeat when you can have a meal like this? You know what I mean? That's gonna keep you on track. I wanna eat this while it's hot and then I'm gonna come back to speak to you all quickly. So that meal there is obviously not something you would typically think of when doing a cut, you know what I mean? There was, who the fuck eats Doritos during a cut, you know what I mean? The thing is, that was about 240 calories worth of that. Along the whole day, that's less than 10% of my total intake for today that was spent on those. And at the end of the day, they're just a complex carb, you know what I mean? Obviously, they're not the exact same as having rice or pasta or whatever, but if they are gonna keep you on track and keep you in that deficit and keep you happy, why not have them every now and again? That's something I probably have like twice a week, I'd say. The majority of the time, it is just rice. That's what I have 80, 90% of the time. But things like that help so much every now and again. And that is my full day of eating. Uh, I'll pop what my calories slash macros were on the screen right now so you can have a look at them. Obviously, don't follow these. They are made for me and everything I do. They will do nothing for you. If you need macros, get yourself a coach, aka me. My email will be in the description. Send me an email, we can have a chat. So how do you really lose fat? Let's get to the fucking point of the whole video. Let's do a quick summary. Right, so convenience, in my opinion, is massive. Like, if you don't have the foods readily available in your house, you're gonna go for something else, it's that simple. So buy the fucking foods, buy enough of them and have them in your house. Enjoyment, enjoy the food you eat for the most part. No, you're not gonna be able to eat cake and cookies, etc. every single day, but enjoy the food, you know what I mean? Every meal I had today was nice, you know what I mean? But it also fueled my body, it gave me exactly what I needed from it. 
Three, obviously calorie deficit. You need to be eating less than you burn in the day. That can take some trial and error to figure out what you need to do. But again, if you don't know where to start, either ask Google or ask a coach. They will help you out massively and save you loads of wasted time. Four, you don't need to be completely strict. You don't need to eat the exact same foods every single day. You don't need to hate the foods you enjoy. You know what I mean? Have a little bit of flexibility like I just did with that last meal there. You know what I mean? I enjoyed that thoroughly. I would eat that and it doesn't feel like I'm cutting, you know what I mean? I'm full and it tasted amazing. It was full of carbs, protein and fats. It was a well-balanced meal. It was amazing. And you can eat stuff like that on a daily basis if you need to. Five, track absolutely everything. Track the food you're eating. I didn't show you me tracking that last meal, but I obviously did. Um, track it to the gram. Don't leave anything to count for it. Track your cardio. So do your cardio, see how many calories you're burning and record it, you know what I mean? Um, track your sleep so that you know how your recovery is. Track your workout session so that you know if you're eating enough or if you're overtraining, if you're, if, are you getting weaker? You're probably overtraining, you know what I mean? You're, you're either overtraining or you're under recovering. It's one or the other. Track absolutely everything. If you do something in a day, it should be accounted for. You should you should know that, you know what I mean? Your steps as well, obviously, are a big one, and your cardio. And six, just make it as simple as possible. That's potentially the most important one. There is no need to overcomplicate it. Literally, all you have to do is eat less calories in the day than you'll burn off. Obviously, you want your macros set out in a certain way to optimize this and to make sure you retain your muscle, etc., recover. But all you have to do is eat less calories in the day than you burn. Keep it simple. Eat the foods you enjoy and don't feel like you're suffering, especially if you're the everyday person. Obviously, this gets different. The leaner and leaner you get, the more hard it's going to get. But if you're the everyday person who just wants to lose a little bit, and the average person, it should be relatively easy, honestly. Just stop eating shit food and you will lose a lot of weight to start. Yeah, guys, that is it for this video. Hopefully you did enjoy. There is a cheeky bicep. I'm still looking kind of lean, man. Even after that, even after that food, we're still looking a little bit lean, you know what I mean? If you enjoyed, please do leave a like. It helps me out massively and it makes me want to keep going. You guys smash the 30 like goal I sent in the last one. Let's see if we can get 35 this time, you know what I mean? Drop me a comment, drop me a sub if you're new. I really appreciate you watching. Peace, people.